Hi everyone, Amy Love here and I have been altering spoons again. So <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one and I just think they're so much fun. And of course I made another pin cushion because I'm kind of addicted to it. And I do have a tutorial for how to turn a spoon into a pin cushion and I will link it up here in the iCards and I'll also put it in my description box if you want to check it out and give it a try because it's just cute. It's so, so cute. So I had this spoon, um, I actually got it out of my silverware drawer. I picked one of, we had this really cheap spoon that was easy to bend and that's what I wanted. So that's the one I decided to use because I did have to bend it so that it would sit nicely on a desk so you could use it as a pin cushion. And I didn't paint it. I just covered the entire spoon with some sorry silk. And then that gave me a base to stick everything to so it, you know so things could grip on because things don't like to grip onto metal <laughs> so that worked out for me and then i made the little pin cushion and i used one of my favorite little fabrics i just think that fabric is so precious let me take the pins out for a minute it's just so so cute so i made the pin cushion and then i i gathered up this adorable little pink eyelet isn't it cute i just think it's so cute it's just so pretty so i gathered that up and put it on the bottom and then i covered the bottom with this pretty little white rosette just to give it a finished touch and then i put this like i i like to call it my frosting lace around the edge and I don't know where to get that but it's so cute I love it it's so pretty and then I started just adding lovely bits from Angel Dream Crafts to give it the finishing touches so I took some of her leaf appliques and I put it here and I put one right here just kind of peeking out and then these gorgeous flowers this one right here it looks like a rolled rose it's just, just so pretty. It's both satin and tulle. I love that. I love the different textures. And then this beautiful pink flower also come from Angel Dream Crafts. And of course, you can find a link to her shop below in my description box, as well as all the other designers on the team. They all do beautiful work. So I suggest you go over and check them out because I'm sure they'll inspire you like they do me. So I love this one with the stamens. I just think it's so pretty. And then I put another one of the rolled uh, roses right here. And then, of course, I popped on this adorable pink bow from Angel Dream Crafts because everything is better with a bow. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then I added a bulb pin and one of these heart blingy heart charms because I just want them hanging off of everything. They should be dangling off of everything. They're so, so cute. And then um, I made this bow out of this flower I had in my stash. And I put one of these beautiful um, centers from uh, our little pieces of bling from Angel Dream Crafts to use as a center. Isn't that adorable? And then I just added some bling to the handle. Isn't that cute? I just think it's so so adorable so i made that for my swap partner and i'm also going to add a tag so i did make a couple of tags with some angel dream crafts goodies so i thought i would show you because i have been just loving lately adding a snippet tag to my packaging i just think they're so cute and they're so simple to make i mean it took me i made one in like six minutes and i did do like a little tutorial in real time so you could see how quick and easy they are so be looking for that but this is, I just used basically snippets of lace that were on my desk. I have some of this cotton just laying around. So I just cut off little strips of it and covered it with snippets and then added a beautiful cabochon, one of the corset cabochons from Angel Dream Crafts and then one of her beautiful bows. And then I put on a rhinestone that I actually got from Gisela. Thank you for sharing, sweet friend and then more of my frosting lace on the top and it's just so sweet. So I will just stick it on a bulb pin and put it on the packaging to go with the spoon. I just think it's so, so sweet. But here is another little snippet tag that I created. 
And on this one, I used one of uh, Kim's beautiful square cabochons. Oh, I'm just loving them so much. And this is a snippet of some pink bridal trim from Kim's shop and another one of her bows. I mean, they're just cute. And I just glued everything on. Just so sweet. And then on this one, I used one of her uh, round rose cabochons. And then I just put a shabby flower in the back and popped that in the middle. And some snippets from one of her pink bridal trims. And some more of the cute little rhinestones I got from Gisela. I love them. And then another one of the bows, which I had to get more in my next design team package because I used the bows up so quick. I put them on everything because everything here has one of those bows. <laughs> but it was so fun to make. I love making, um, really, I love making pin cushions out of anything. And spoons are just a fun way. And how pretty it is just to set on your desk and um, put some of your pins in it. So I hope you love it. Um, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out all the links below. And I hope you're all doing well and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.